Sophie had always felt like she didn't quite fit in with the other girls at school. She didn't like wearing dresses or playing with dolls, and she much preferred running around and getting dirty outside with the boys. She didn't understand why everyone seemed to be so obsessed with fitting into these narrow gender roles, and she couldn't help but feel like there had to be more to being a girl than just wearing pink and being pretty. Then one day, Sophie stumbled upon a quote by Simone de Beauvoir. One is not born, but rather becomes a woman. This simple sentence hit her like a ton of bricks. Suddenly, everything made sense. She realized that gender wasn't just something that was predetermined at birth, but something that was constructed by society and culture. Sophie began to explore this idea further. She read books about feminist theory and gender studies and started to understand how harmful the limitations of gender roles could be. She started to see how these roles not only restricted women's opportunities, but also prevented men from fully expressing their emotions and being their authentic selves. Sophie began to experiment with her own gender expression. She cut her hair short, started wearing more comfortable and practical clothing, and stopped wearing makeup. She felt liberated and empowered, finally able to express herself in a way that felt true to who she was. Of course, this journey wasn't without its challenges. Some people in her life didn't understand or accept her new look, and she faced criticism and judgment from others but she also found support from like-minded individuals and found solace in knowing that she wasn't alone in her feelings. Through her journey of self-discovery, Sophie came to understand that being true to oneself isn't always easy, but it's worth it. She learned to challenge societal norms and expectations and to embrace the complexity and fluidity of gender. She realized that Simone de Beauvoir's words had given her the permission she needed to explore and express her gender in a way that felt authentic and true to who she was, and for that, she was grateful.